Hey, welcome back everyone. Rob from Ram Studio Comics. So in today's video, we'll be drawing uh, some punching poses and practicing this and talking about some of the things you can think about uh, while warming up with these. Uh, so in this particular one, we're just going to focus on the character throwing the punch. I'll be bringing you another video where we draw the characters interacting together within the scene. Uh, so maybe like the character flying back towards camera or different character reactions after getting punched. Uh, so the main thing that I really try to do here is work with basic shapes, basic forms, think about the gesture obviously, and get a flow going and an idea going. Very rough. You see these are very uh, loose. Uh, but mainly I'm doing this with a lot of quick overlapped forms and shapes. I think that's really important to do because it allows you to simplify uh, this type of pose. And, you know, with foreshortening, a, a tricky part of it is not just that things get larger as they come towards camera, it's getting the overlaps and the connection points of the anatomy to look right. And that's really why I went with a very overly uh, illustrated version of the anatomy here, a very angular version, so that I can hopefully point out some of the ways that I think about the anatomy and the way that it intersects. You know, things like the deltoid, uh, the medial head of the deltoid going in between the, you know, tricep, bicep, and just little areas like that where the overlaps occur and how they kind of uh, point towards different areas of the body. Uh, once you start to get a little bit of an idea of that, like I'm not saying this is realistic anatomy by any stretch of the imagination, but it's my stylistic approach. But once you get these forms and shapes working in the way that you remember them, in the way that they relate to the way that you like to see them in your own artwork, the easier it gets to turn these things on the page and in your imagination uh, which is very important for doing dynamic poses. So, again, it is that idea that things get larger. Uh, now, when things come close enough towards you, uh, towards camera, uh, they block other aspects, right? They, they obviously block the connection points. So, the area where the fist connects to the forearm, you don't see that as it's coming towards camera. You don't see the forearm connect to the upper arm as it's coming towards camera. You do, however, see the shape or slope of the uh, the next predominant piece of anatomy. Uh, so you have to start paying attention to that to get these uh, ideas to work properly. And again, that's where really simplifying the forms helps you to do that. And uh, so you, you study your anatomy, you study what you, know, what you can learn about anatomy, but then you convert it to a shorthand version of your own uh, understanding, basically. And I, I think that's really important to do. So... The other thing that I think is very important with punching poses uh, is, is twisting and contorting of the body. Twisting of the midsection is probably the, the main thing. You've got to really focus on how the body uh, twists and bends as somebody throws a punch. Uh, so, for instance, when, when you're taught to, to throw a punch, I, I boxed for a few years, so I'll, uh, I'll share that bit of valuable information with you. Uh, you're always taught, like, you don't throw the punch to the, the person's face, you throw it past their face. So another thing to reference is, like, how to draw the marble way. When they talk about throwing punches, they're not showing the punch hitting the face and stopping there, right? There's a very uh, cool part in the, the video series in the book where they talk about, no, you throw that punch past the, the character, right? That's where the action is. That's where the excitement is, the aftermath of the punch. So you need to think of it in terms like that. Again, don't stop the punch at the character's face. Now, obviously here we're not seeing the other character. We'll get into that more in the uh, other video. But you can still kind of picture that. You want to picture that as you're, as you're drawing this. Uh, so that character needs to lunge and commit to that. Uh, think of it like this. When we draw a character running, the character is almost falling, right? That's actually the act of running. We're falling and catching ourselves over and over again. That's the, the uh, kinematics of it, the energy of it. Uh, we are literally falling. If we stopped that motion, we would just fall over, but we keep running, right? We run faster and faster. And that's why a character needs to really look like they're leaned over. Well, same thing with punching. They're committing all that energy to that punch, so you need to show that falling over motion. And again, that twisting and pinching of the torso, you're going to see that quite significantly. Uh, one of the best references that I can always recommend that I love looking at is UFC fights. Uh, any full contact uh, sport like that, you know, where they're um, combating, you're going to see some really great shots. So the thing I like most about UFC is that since it's so popular these days, there's tons of great references. Since it's full contact, you're getting punches, kick, 
kicks and, and uh, grappling. You know, you just you can't find any better reference than that. Now, me personally, I can't look at reference and draw it verbatim and get something that looks like a cool comic book style. So again, I want to go back to what I started the video with. Simplified forms, stylized anatomy. You have to couple these things together. So what I tend to do is I look at the poses, I grab aspects of that shot, maybe the way they're twisting at the waist, maybe the foreshortening in the shot, but then I stylize it and I put that reference away. Because again, for me, it's it almost hinders my work if I latch onto it too wholeheartedly. I just can't seem to convert it to the type of style that I want to see. Um, and then also just reference from comics, right? There's tons of great poses. Like, uh, for instance, that bottom middle one. I don't know where I saw that, but I know I saw that in a comic somewhere. I didn't invent that pose. I probably didn't invent any of these. Uh, everything is just a faded memory, in my opinion. But uh, we like to call it imagination. It's, it's just a coupled, um, you know, a, a smorgasbord of ideas, if you will, that we've uh, acquired through our life experiences. And then we, we they kind of make their way into our art. Um, so there's nothing wrong with looking at poses from comics and then making it your own. Just change something, change an arm, change a hand, change how much foreshortening is there, change the proportions. Uh, downright change the anatomy and make it your own. If you, if you latch onto something that looks better, uh, you you can do that. I mean, there's definitely styles out there. You know, people will say things like, uh, when they look at my art, they'll say like, you know, hey, the proportions are really weird on that one. It just doesn't look right. And then I'll think about artists like Sam Keith, you know, which I love his work. I'm not knocking it one bit. Uh, but when they say things like that, I think about artists like Sam Keith and Joe Mad, and I'm like, no, proportions can be all over the place, and it looks amazing if done the right way. Now, I'm not saying I do it the right way every time, but again, that's one of those things where you can play around with these things and have lots, lots of fun with it. It's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, and that's just part of the game, right? Some people are going to love it. Some people are not so much. And that's fine. Uh, I can't please everybody all the time, but you can experiment with these things. You can have lots of fun with it. Um, and, and I think you need to think that way, especially as you reference things from life. You know, you want to learn from true anatomy, real anatomy, real fight scenes, real uh, action scenes, things like that. But then you need to take it a step further, or at least this is how I feel about it. You need to take it a step further and make it your own. But uh, the other thing that I think is really important when doing this is really playing around with crossing over the forms. So I'll see these really nice artistic renditions and they're they're great you know but they they don't cross over the arm in front of the body almost like maybe they're afraid of what it does to the scene it changes the silhouette uh it's not always a great idea uh, but there are those times when it really helps to make that scene more interesting uh, and there's only so much space on that page so you got to do overlaps uh but i again that's something i notice with a lot of artists that they tend to keep everything wide out and open so for instance, if you look at the one in the top right, that, that would be my example for that. It's okay, but everything's too wide out and open. There's not enough overlap and air of interest. There could have been a lot more twisting of the torso. So if you notice, I've put the shoulders aligned with the hips. Probably a no-no in any punch scene, right? You gotta really twist and contort that a bit. So that's just me looking at my own work in retrospect and kinda giving myself a kick in the pants. So at any rate, this one's coming to a close. I'm adding some value. Uh, value is another good thing to do, I think, because it helps you to think more about these forms in a, a more dimensional way. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, I would love to know what you think about this particular video as far as what else you'd like to see on the channel. I'll bring you that one where I show characters uh, fighting one another within the scene and developing that further. Hopefully that'll be an interesting one for you. I'll get that on the channel very soon. I appreciate the continued support. More content on the way very soon. As always, keep drawing, keep having fun, and bye for now.